What is going on guys? It is Constable Fan coming back at you with a, another Madden 17 video. Today we are in week 7 in my Chicago Bear Fantasy Franchise League. I know I said I wanted to get the year done like last week, but I just haven't really got around to it. So we're going to be playing a, another uh, game in this. Um, we played the 4-1 and one Green Bay Packers. So since it was a fantasy draft that was simulated, let's take a look on who was on the Packers. Hopefully it's a pretty good matchup. So the Packers, they have Luke Keekley, 99, and then Carson Palmer, old quarterback. They have Jonathan Joseph, he's 89 speed, so maybe I could burn him there. Reggie Nelson, old. Malaluga, old. Aaron Lynch, he's pretty good. Leonard Williams is good. Derek Morgan. Um, Chris Ivory. I don't know, the team's kind of old, actually. Oh, they have Corey Coleman, the youngster. I just want to look at their corners. If you guys have watched um, my other episodes, I have Philip Dorsett and Will Fuller. So two very speedy wide receivers on the outside. Also Sterling Sharp in the slot. And none of their corners are over 90 speed. So I think I could um, um, burn these corners this game. I'll show you. I don't know if you guys have seen my team before. Some guys are hurt, like uh, I have Thomas Rawls and stuff, but Will Fuller, he's got good speed, and then Philip Dorsett, also another speedster. So we'll jump to this game, um, this divisional game against the Green Bay Packers, and we will see you guys in the game. So the game's about to start here. Looks like we're playing in Lambeau Field. Personally, I would love to go see a game in Lambeau Field. Just like the old stadium, the history, I think that would be a pretty sweet experience. My friend actually went to... Um, Soldier Field last year uh, in Chicago to watch a game. He said it was this unreal experience. Um, I also don't play defense. I usually just sim it. I usually just play offense. Just make the you know make the videos uh, you know just quick and we could uh, you know just get through them as fast as possible. So looks like first play play action. I did my receivers were going to be open, so that, that's a good sign. Even though I was sacked. Here's my injuries. You know I have Shazier, Thomas Rawls, Jordan Cameron. Uh, Thomas Rawls, I think, is coming back next week. But, you know, Denard Robinson's been playing good for me. Um, you know, he's got better speed. I really, uh, you know, I, I like speed at wide receiver and at the tight end position. It looks like Rivera on a drag route. Drag routes usually work pretty good in this game uh, against zone coverage. First side of downs, safeties are playing a little bit up. Uh, Will Fuller's got plus three speed. Dorsett's got plus three. Looks like they're playing some press coverage. See if Fuller has a step on him. Oh, not really, but he does it anyway. High stepping into the end zone. Rookie of the year candidate. I'm sure he's going to be at the top of the list when the polls come out. Touchdown, and it is a tie football game. I get the ball back after my defense held the Packers to uh, no points. So we're going to run it a little bit with Denard Robinson on this drive. I'm just too tempted when I see this, like, corners up, playing up on my receivers, um, possible uh, press coverage. Looks like they're going to let him go. Uh, Sammy Coates, another young receiver. He's got pretty good speed. I think it's only, like, a 91. Usually I like at least, you know, like a 95, I would say. In a league with my friends, I have basically... I got one receiver that's actually a 99, uh, one that's a 98, and honestly, they just destroy... They just destroy cornerbacks. It's actually disgusting. So that's what I kind of want to do with this uh, Bears League. Just get in those speedsters. Maybe I'll find some in the draft. Philip Dorsett's definitely a keeper. Brashad Perryman is in, in this game is actually a very good player to play with. But looks like, you know, Fuller. Looks like, wait for it, wait for it. Sling it. That was kind of a shitty throw. But, oh my god, he embarrasses him again. And yes, this is on Old Madden. He will high step in the end zone again. And kaboom, 14 to 7 lead. Will Fuller, very good player. I get the ball back. Green Bay was held to, uh, was for forced to punt it again. So if they're going to be playing press coverage all game, they're not going to be doing this all game. Russell Wilson's got a very good arm. Looks like Dorsett will just get a step, but I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm not sure. Uh, how's Jonathan Joseph speeds in 89? He's like, what, 34 years old or something? But. You know, good for him for being that fast. Oh, their phone's ringing. That's perfect. Play action play. Looks like um, they're playing press coverage again. Oh, my God. Will was going to walk in on the left side there. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Hopefully someone picks up the phone in this freaking house because uh, it's ruining the video here. But another play action play. Th third and long. I'm, uh, 
I'm gonna be throwing it a lot this game, just the way they're playing uh, playing against my receivers. So play action, throw it up. Will Fuller does he have a step? Not really, but he. Oh my God, he's embarrassing this cornerback today. First down on the 32 yard line, so we'll hit him with that play action. I don't know what the hell I pressed there, but oh my God, he almost caught that. I pressed the wrong button. Huge. Oh, that's Brandon Carr. He's destroying the ex Kansas City Chiefs. Left to go to Dallas for big money, but I don't think he really, really panned out there. So, we'll see if we could hit Sterling. That was a bad decision there on the drag route. The, like, the corner didn't jump that. Third and ten coming up. We'll do four verticals. This is like the classic Madden 16 play. You know, A would be open all the time in the middle of the field, but they changed that in this game. Um, so, what's Will Fuller's speed at? Looks like they're playing it pretty good here. Okay, okay, let him come in, let him come in, hit him with that. Sammy, Sammy Coates, touchdown, Chicago. Looks like Green Bay was able to get a field goal. 21 to 10 is your score, 322 until the halftime. So we're, oh my god, Russell Wilson takes so long to release the ball in this game. I said that multiple times. I'm not sure if I should get rid of him. I kind of wanted to maybe like start fresh and draft a guy. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys comment in the comment section on what you want to see me do. But let's try to hit Dorsett. He's not really getting separation, but hopefully he makes a catch. Oh, no, don't pick it. Shit, picked off by Reggie Nelson, the veteran of the University of Florida. And Sammy Coates absolutely destroys him. I'm sure his knee would be blown up after that hit. They were not able to generate points after that turnover. So luckily for me... Um, so we'll hit him with this classic counter play. I use the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I'm a big Chiefs fan. I just love their playbook. Kind of West Coasty is uh, what I like to play. Even though this game, I'm just just gunslinging it. But I do kind of like running the the football, you know, once in a while uh, in a game. So we'll hit him with that uh, counter play again. Seems to work pretty good. Got the three tight ends on the one side, and then he bounces it back to the weak side, and usually it's wide open. So, you know, I hit him with that twice. Let's kind of uh, do a play action here. Maybe they'll bite on it, but probably not. Uh, Who's Will Fuller against? There's a good cushion on the, on the side. Oh, I had tight ends open. But Aaron Lynch, very good player for the Niners with the sack. Two-minute warning. Russell Wilson's kind of pissed off, but we'll skip that. And then we'll ask coach suggestions here. Let's hit him with that HB slip screen. Very good play. Usually it works or it doesn't work. That's usually the only two options. <laughs> a lot of plays are like that, but looks like they're going to... Oh, I thought they were going to cover it pretty good. Hit him with that weak spin. Oh, oh, Denard. Very good play. I've also been reading your requests on different videos you want me to come out with. Don't think I'm not uh, reading every comment. Um, I'm making note and trying to fit all these videos you guys want to see me do. Like... Um, like I said, Denard Robinson with that catch. People want to see him uh, play quarterback, so I'll probably make a league, switch him to quarterback. I already have one with Braxton Miller. Also, people want to see Terrell Pryor. Uh, same thing there. Um, moved from quarterback to receiver, just like a couple players in the league have done. You know, I could even do it with Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb played quarterback at Kentucky for a little bit in college. Uh, Julian Edelman as well, but the thing with, um, I think Cobb's 26, but Edelman's 30, and switching him to quarterback, like, he won't develop, so it probably won't go too well, oh shit, dump it off to the tight end, oh, got hit, it probably won't go too well, I could probably do it, maybe for like a year or two, um, what, he's 30, 30 years old, he could probably play till he's 33 or 34, he might have a little bit of success, but maybe you guys want to see Julian Edelman play quarterback too, I'm not sure, but... Let me know in the comments also. I've been doing uh, college ones, so just picking up players from certain college conferences in the uh, D Division One college. I did the SEC, the ACC. Uh, Sony Garcia requested the Pac-12, so I'll be doing that next. Well, not next, but um, probably this week for sure. Hit him with that drag route to Vanette. I think he's a rookie at Ohio State. Call a timeout here. Also, Tim Gray commented today he wants to see an old undrafted team. Now, I think that's going to be hard. That might take like five or six years to do, but I'm uh, definitely up for the challenge. I think that will be uh, pretty challenging to do. Um, Montel Vontavius Porter says an old sophomore team because I did a, a old rookie team in this. Oh, my God. Why didn't he just backpedal in the end zone? 
because I did an old rookie team. Picked up like Ezekiel Elliott, Jalen Ramsey, Dak Prescott was my quarterback. You know, just all the best rookies from uh, this past year's draft. Put them on a team. Uh, we we were unable to make it to a Super Bowl, but I think we made a divisional or maybe even a conference. I can't recall. Um, and yeah, there's a couple more, but I, I really can't remember them at the top of my head. But those are you know some of the key ones I really want to do as I get stuff there. Probably going to. Go to the goal line formation. Quarterback sneak, you know, for the most part works. Hopefully my O-line gets a good push. Pushes that nose tackle right back into the end zone. And, oh, my God, gets stuffed. So I, had a, I called a time out there. I learned my lesson from last time. I did go for it on fourth and one. But, you know, let's just take the for sure points and uh, punch it through for three points. And that should do it for halftime. And we'll uh, be going right into the third quarter second half action is underway looks like i got the ball back right after halftime so let's counter play it oh dinar bouncing it bouncing it 10 yards 11 yards actually five rushes 44 yards for dinar robinson that's kind of my go-to run play that counter play you know it, it works you know eight times out of ten you know sometimes that outside linebacker uh, shreds um the pulling uh, guard and uh, could get you in the backfield. But for the most part, it works, you know, eight times out of ten usually. But uh, let's go coach suggestions. Let's uh, let's launch it here. You know, we're uh, we're in striking distance of Russell Wilson's arm. You know, they're playing up on me. My The safeties are up a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Dorsett. Dorsett looks like he is going to go all the way. Speedster out of the U. If you don't know what that is, the University of Miami, my favorite college in college football. One of my favorite players in the league for sure, Philip Dorsett. My defense is holding the Packers in check. You know, they got the veteran Carson Palmer, but other than that, really, not nothing too special stands out on their team. You know, this is a big divisional game. Um, I'm 4-1, and one, I think, and they're 4-1 and one as well. So, you know, this is probably for tops in the conference that I really didn't check, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. So let's... Um, I was going to run it, but let's hit him with this. See if Dorsett's on the corner there. Oh, yeah, but he just got carried out of bounds because Russell Wilson has a cannon for an arm. Having a very good game. Last week was good. 493 and six touchdowns this year, or this week. 377, four touchdowns. And I think I have an interception. Yeah, I got an interception. So, oh, sorry, I set a burp there. Uh, let's do a little stretch play to Denard. And he finds a hole. Oh, my God. The vision on this guy. And he's going to... Oh, no. Oh. Is that a touchdown? No. That's a touchback. <laughs> I was showboating and it didn't count? That's college football stuff. You, oh, I messed up. I was, ho I was showboating way too early. But that should have been a touchdown. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. But we, we got to redeem him here. Come on, Will. Get under that. Come on. Beat him. It's Brandon Carr. Come on. You have 95 speed. He's got 88. Oh, did you just punch him in the head? You see that? He just ducked. Total yards. I have 496. They got like 170. We're just dominating that in that aspect of the game. Oh, that was such a bonehead play by me. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, RB. Go. Go, 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 go. No way he just caught that. No way! What are these plays happening right now? This is... I'm cursed or something. These are... I've never seen that happen before. Oh my god. Those are two bad plays back to back. They were a, unable to get points though. Or did I get the ball back from that? Maybe they overturned it. I don't know. I should have watched it. But it looks like A is going to be there in the flat. Rivera, my tight end. Picks up a pretty good chunk of yards there. On the second and four play, we're running uh, some drag routes here. Nothing seems to be open. Oh, drag your feet. No way he's dragging his feet after that hit. Sterling Shepard, rookie out of Oklahoma. Very good young player. New York Jets. Drafted him in the second round, I believe. So let's run this play. Um, and uh, we'll try to hit him with that. Hit him with that. Fill up. Come on. Sammy Coates, though. Oh, and Joseph goes for a ride. I thought that was a Dorset there, but if it was Dorset, it would have been a touchdown. But Sammy Coates had a, had a couple steps on him. 
Looks like the corners are pl giving my guys a little bit of a cushion here. So I'll take the snap. Really nothing nothing is open really for me. What the hell was that? I pressed the wrong button for sure. And he dropped it. We were faced with a third and ten on the Packers 22 yard line. When in doubt, run the four verticals play. That's what I always say. Want to go eat some hay? Oh, who is that? Is that Devin Smith? Ohio State product, I believe. With a touchdown. No, is he Ohio State? Devin Smith? I think so. Ohio State player. 38-10, to 10, and looks like we'll be heading into the fourth quarter here. Looks like Green Bay was able to get a field goal, but this game is all but over. Basically, just going to run the ball and uh, see from the clock out. Oh, Denard. Denard, another good play. Did that? Okay, I think those yards on that fumble counted. So he's got over 100 on nine carries. So that's a, a big day for him. He should have a touchdown, but I was showboating, you know, way too early. That defender caught up real quick. So uh, let's hit him with that counter again. Oh, my God. Russell didn't even hand it off. He just took a lick. So that is a fail for sure. Third and eight. On my 27, we'll hit him with this play action. Hit him with that juju. Oh no, I had Will Fuller wide open. I gotta punt it away. Okay, okay, okay. Go, Will. Get under that. See ya, Brandon. Now I can showboat. Oh, Nelson's coming. Nat. Touchdown, Will Fuller. Best rookie receiver in the league. In this league, anyway, by far. What's that? 45 13. Oh, and they get a field goal, so they have 16 points. But my offense is on fire today. Let's see if Denar can go to the house on this run. Okay, okay, not today. So the heck with running out the ball, right? Oh, okay, I should have ran it. What was I thinking? So that is going to do it from a week seven here with my Bears League. Gay by Russell Wilson and Will Fuller yet again, you know, the matchup just, you know, it wasn't there for the Packers. They, they had some old cornerbacks, and I exploited that for sure. So, Russell Wilson, 5'14", 6 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, rushing. Denard Robinson, 15 carries, uh, a buck 27. And then receiving, where's my guy, Will Fuller, 4 catches, 247, and 3 of them were for touchdowns. Uh, Philip Dorsett had 4 receptions for a buck uh, 110 and 1 touchdown defense. Uh, let's see who led in tackles with Bobby McCain, my cornerback. I think he plays in the nickel. Sacks, Aaron Lynch had three on me. Luke Keekley had two. And Jabal Sheard had one and a half for me. It looks like Jabal Sheard is actually injured now. And Reggie Nelson, the veteran, picked me off two times. So that's going to do it for me in year number, or not year seven, week seven in my fantasy franchise with the Chicago Bears. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and we will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.